Welcome everybody. This is Big City Drinks. I'm Ace and this is Alex for our whiskey review. Hey, how are you? Uh, today we're actually in for a little treat on our first whiskey review. Uh, normally we would uh, review something that everybody else is always reviewing. As you can see, you have different bottles back there, but we decided to give everybody a treat and try something new from uh, Natabu, uh, an ET51 premium uh, whiskey out of Canada. Uh, this one right here is uh, 51, so it'll be 102 proof uh, whiskey, and you get a nice little cool bottle, so it's a little funky, it's got a little alien on the top, so it's uh, like Area 51 type of whiskey, so uh, that's awesome. One of the other things that this one came with was a little uh, gift thing. So it came with a little premium vodka that we either review today or another time. But we'll have it here. You have a nice little combo set. Uh, one of the things about this whiskey is it's age stated. Uh, depending on the barrel, depending on the batch, it's between seven to eight years. So we really don't know which batch this one is. So I can't tell you, but I know that it's going to be between seven to eight years. So we'll definitely be able to have something uh, nice. Hopefully it's a little bit smooth because of the age. And, um, well, we're about to crack open the uh, the bottle and uh, we'll see what the, comes out of the court. Uh, does this bottle remind you of another bottle that's similar? Ironically enough, this one would be... That's also Canadian? Yeah, that, this one I was going to say. Um, this one actually is a little bit almost like uh, Crystal Skullhead uh, vibes to it, at least. Except, you know, big giant Skullhead, yeah. little alien head here. So Who know, makes the Crystal Skullhead one? That one, I believe, is Dan Aykroyd, yeah. the act from Ghostbusters that makes that one. So, um, I don't know. Maybe it's a whole little thing of Canada there. Uh, fully into aliens and <laughs> crystal skulls and too many Indiana Jones movies, but whatever it is. No complaints here. It's uh, definitely something that's uh, worth to give it a try. So, well, uh, here we go. Crack in the court. Okay, Alex, uh, do us the honor and uh, open it up. All right. It's time to decapitate this guy. Yep. Oh, man. Let's wax on it. It's a wax seal? Uh, no, actually, no. It's a little bit like... Somewhat, not really wax, but more like a little, little tape type of thing. Yeah. Okay. Nice little thing. Like nice little. Okay. Cork. Is it a cork? Yep. Ah. <laughs> nice. Can I see the? Yeah, sure. Look at this. Let's see. Is that a plastic cork? Mm. Mm. We'll see. Yeah, you, I probably guess because the design is a little bit more. Gotcha. Used to a little bit more on the regular corks, but plastic corks aren't that bad either. And the smell? Let's see. Ooh. It's got a nice, nice, really good smell to it. Let's see if I can get the little Karen over here. Let's see if I can get some stuff. Don't mind if I add mine. Work this guy back up. There you go. Get your head on straight. Yeah, you got your head on straight. Okay. So, what do you think? Oh, well, let's see. It's. I'm getting a couple of different smells on this. This is a really crazy notes. Originally, I thought it was chocolate, but it wasn't chocolate. Then I thought it was a little, maybe coffee, but it's not coffee. But I did have hazelnut coffee this morning, and that actually kind of triggered me. I was like, that's probably why I thought it was coffee. But it definitely smells like hazelnut. You're getting hazelnut? I'm getting hazelnut, and then there's a little bit, a little bit, like, like there was like a fruit that I couldn't, um... That I couldn't uh, really like pin down. All right. It was like a, it's a different. It's so it's not coffee. It's not chocolate.
but it was something that was just giving me a different smell to the um, to the hazelnut. But now that it's coming out, I think it smells a lot like pears. Really? Yeah. Like when you cut open into a pear, it smells a little bit like a pear, and then it goes right into into the hazelnut. So it's almost like like a weird hazelnut pear type of situation. You may be onto something. I'm getting some spice, some vanilla, some coffee, the hazelnut. Now that you're saying, definitely, but the pear. Wow. I'm getting a, I'm getting a little hint of vanilla, but the vanilla is just it's, it's a slight. You gotta shake it a little bit more. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it's definitely a fruit. It's almost it's like like it when you drink when you have a rye. You know what? I'm gonna cut you. I'm gonna say you. I'm a. You say pear. I'm gonna say plum. No, it, it's. It's got a, it, the plum is a little bit different s- smell, or I can at least, when I think of a plum, I have a specific taste to it, yeah. but it's definitely not. Okay. I, I, from my personal thing, I think it's pear. It smells really, yeah. like, I get almost like a little rye, but not like, not, 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 not in the sense like this is a rye, but I get a sense it's a little bit more like a fruity, and I've, I've had a couple of ryes that are like, been finished some different things and it smells a little bit like like almost like a field gotcha but this is like a field of fruit and i definitely think it's pear all right so cheers cheers let's go I'm going to start it off. I got to say, coffee is definitely there. For me, a little spice. Goes down a little warm. Not a lot. What do you got? As soon as I tasted it, that pear was definitely there. Like, I felt the pear. I was really? Like, like, I tasted it, and the hazelnut. Like, the hazelnut just... Still and like yeah, like it's there now. Like it's it like as soon as I had the hazelnut, it's like now covered in my mouth. I'm like I just feel hazelnut like all over. But that pear hit me in right at the beginning. It was a nice little smooth like filling. It's like it warms you up all the way down. It does on the way on the towards the back end. It's a little it's a little like heat. Not but that not much. Enough, but not enough heat where you're like dying from it. No, but. It's like, you know, it's like a nice little warm hug, but as soon as I tasted it, like, that pear just came at you, like, to me at least, it came out, like, yeah, I feel it's more like a pear, like, it's almost like, like, I'm having, like, a, a little bit of, like, a pear, like, like, not like a smoothie or a shake or whatever, like, pear juice type of situation. Gotcha. But it feels a little bit, but then... The hazelnut, it's like, it's like I, a weird, uh, <laughs> it's like a weird Starbucks refresher that they made yeah. where they like slip the coffee, like the hazelnut coffee, and then they threw in a pear somewhere. But, but you do you at least get you get coffee? I no, I don't. I don't get coffee. I I get the hazelnut, the hazelnut, and I get okay, the pear and the pear, and like it, it and the little it, and the heat the is heat. a cloud of heat for me. Yeah, it, it um it covers me. It kind of covers. covers me nicely. Like, it's nice. like I could probably see myself drinking this on more fall than anything. Wow. Like towards the end, towards the back end, to the back end of summer when it's like kind of starting to get a little chillier. But you know, you can still do like a campfire type of situation, or you're just by the fire. After taste, I'm getting a little caramel. It's not butterscotch. Like in that, the aftertaste, what do you get? It's yeah. definitely sugar. It's 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 definitely like some sugary Sweet. substance, like uh, yeah, like a little bit of a candy. Yeah. Like oh, it's very good. The um, yeah, yeah. Towards the back, like the more you have it, towards the back end, it leaves you with like a butterscotch. Yep. Like. 
like when you just finish the butterscotch candy, that's exactly what it feels like. Like it hits you with the pear, you get the, you get the nice little hazelnut, and then it just as soon as it starts to warm up, you're like, was I just eating butterscotch? <laughs> but yeah, this is this is really good. This is really good whiskey. Like I could see myself drinking a lot more of this. It's, it's nice. First real Canadian whiskey that I've had, so I definitely feel like I could possibly get another one of these. Yeah. Because it's, like, outside of the funky, cool, like, bottle. Because the bottle itself is a talking piece. Somebody comes to the house and you're like, yo, what the hell is that? Mm-hmm. And they're like, yeah, my little alien, my little alien skeleton thing here. Um, but, mm-hmm. and you give it to somebody to taste and you're like, you know, here, have a, have a good sip. You see yourself uh, maybe blending it? Old fashioned, maybe. I don't know. I don't really think I could blend it. I, I'm more of a, I'm more of a straight type of whiskey type of guy. I don't even, I don't even like put ice on mine for the most part. Good man. And that 102, that's still pretty low. Like to me, like I'm a little bit more into the proof. Like um, a lot of my like the things that I like are like. Um, the wild turkey uh, rare breed, which is like 116, 115, 116, 114, somewhere around there. And uh, the 1920s, like uh, Old Forster 1920, which is like my favorite Yeah. Um, that I drink. And I drink those straight. I don't ever put ice on them, but they're pretty, they're, you know, 114, 116. Those things are pretty, like, yeah. they'll, they'll hit you pretty hard if you're not used to it. Some people put some ice on them and it tastes a little bit better for them. But at 102, I could... Definitely drink this. It's like Wild Turkey 101 where you can just drink it all the time. But because of its unique flavor, I don't think I could really mix it into an Old Fashioned. Yeah. Like for an Old Fashioned, I would probably go with a little bit more of a... Um, old Forester 86. Oh, yeah, Old Forester 86. Um, Four Roses. Four Roses uh, it has a little bit more like fruit, like wild flower fruit type of thing. Gotcha. So I probably wouldn't go with that. I think, um, actually, one of the things I was uh, one of, telling one of my other friends was um, to get Evan Williams Bottle and Bond, which is like a white label, Evan Williams. It's cheap liquor, but it's a cheap whiskey. It's But the one thing that makes it great about it, it's age-stated, so it's not young whiskey. At least you have, like, four-year-old whiskey. So, like, something like that I would use on a on a bottle and, like, on a old-fashioned and, like, mixer. I wouldn't use something like this. There's a little bit more. That's why I guess on the box itself it said premium whiskey. Mm. Um, it's like a something different. It's not something you're gonna like mix with, and I wouldn't mix it. I'd probably drink it straight just because it's you get a little bit more of a you know you get a little bit more of a feel, and you and you definitely get a lot of different notes that I don't normally get on a whiskey. That's correct. Like I definitely would get like. Vanilla, brown sugar. Yeah. Uh, you wouldn't get this on the other whiskeys. Uh, not to say that they're, you know, it's a bad thing, but like an Arbeck or Johnny Walker. Well, those are single malts. Yeah, so, you single definitely, malts. so you definitely right. need to get something different from yeah. that as opposed to the bourbons and the whiskeys that yeah. you have like a whole different profile to it. But even like this, um, and you would put anything from brown foreman, uh, turkey, uh, even some of the other craft uh, distilleries that are out there, you're you're still getting something a little bit different than you normally get. Like, probably a little, like, um, like High West makes a lot of good rides. They, uh, they, they do have, like, one or two um, whiskeys, bourbons, whiskeys, stuff like that. It's a little bit different. But uh, something like that. Like, those guys kind of, like, do get some really good, funky funky flavors to it that like it's different and that's why i enjoy them but um uh, yeah definitely this is this is something it's got like a unique taste to it and it's, it's like a good unique taste to it it's almost like um you sometimes get things like screwball which would be like a straight peanut butter where you like expect it to be peanut butter yeah but because this one i didn't expect anything outside of like the cool looking bottle uh, i'm kind of like surprised but i uh, definitely do enjoy you know yeah. what? You can also keep this as a souvenir. <laughs> yeah, that's you finish it. You can put anything in it. Yeah. No, the the best thing about this is, don't like like I was complaining earlier a little bit before, which is the um, 
the cork. The cork. It's a little bit plastic. I'm used to the um, Portuguese cork. You know the. Like even yeah. though even though it's still a little bit of a plastic type of cork, yeah. it's not that bad because if you want to keep it as a souvenir, it's eventually like regular cork will eventually rot on you. Correct. And yeah. I would hate to be like trying to pop this open. And half a freaking cork comes out, and then yeah. I'm just stuck with a freaking head and no body. What am I going to put this under a crystal skull so it looks like a giant head with a little body? That's a good idea. Yeah, so it's definitely not. It's 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 actually a pretty good idea to have the, the, the plastic cork on a bottle like this. All right. Um, so before we wrap it up, Alex, uh, I want to thank... The people following us on Instagram, who has been a big help to yeah, us. Big City Drinks 1. Big Definitely City Drinks. And on Twitter, too. Uh, big City Drinks. And then on YouTube. Big City Drinks. <laughs> I also want to thank uh, 36 Spirits and Wine. Out of a store in New York. Yeah. The where... one that got us the nice little uh, package here, which it comes with the little uh, vodka that we'll probably do a review later on. Uh, definitely check them out because apparently they're the ones carrying this. Uh, not that many places seem to be carrying it. So, um, yeah, ask your local guys to see if, uh, they carry something like this. If you guys want to try it, it's about 35 to $40 on a bottle. Uh, like I said, it's not a starter bottle, but it's like something to, uh, really get a different feel of whiskey. So you'll definitely, if you like whiskey a lot, you're definitely going to enjoy it a little bit more. But, um, it's... Like I said, it's, it's something different, but you'll enjoy it. And I, I ask you guys, our guy, 36 and Wine, was de definitely able to hook us up with the good stuff here with the, the extra bottle. But, um, you know, check out um, your little guys and definitely check out the ET51. Nice shirt, by the way. It's a little wrinkly. I'm so I apologize on my behalf on that. Oh, yeah. We got this from uh, one of our friends, uh, Mill over here. Guys, uh different shirt here it's the back got the front got the one I have apparently also made some uh, bags here especially when we're recycling here so it's always good to have all right um once once again I want to thank everybody who's been giving us uh, a lot of promotion and uh, a lot of thanks and following and just great things and I want to thank everybody for that yeah. uh, also uh, follow, follow, drinks, link, link, follow, link, follow, subscribe. Yeah, link, follow, and subscribe, please. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, this is Big City Drinks. I'm Ace, and this is Alex. Have a good one. Take care, guys.